So, I come to the third theme, the last theme in my part A, after which, of course, I will speak of a few others. Caring society. In our third theme, we focus on women and child, social welfare, culture and tourism, and also on environment and climate change. Women and child and social welfare, sir. I am pleased to inform the House that Beti Bachao Beti Padao has yielded tremendous results. Gross enrollment. <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, if you hear the data, if you hear the data, I think it's important not to politicize issues related to women. Beti Bachao Beti Padao has yielded tremendous results. Gross enrollment ratio of girls across all levels of education is now higher than boys. At elementary level, at elementary level, it is 94.32% as against 89.28 for boys. At secondary level, it is 81.32% as compared to 78% for boys. At higher secondary level, girls have achieved a level of 59.70 compared to only 57.54% for boys. So girls are actually under Beti Padao benefiting from the scheme. Health of mother. the critical component of health to improve nutritional status of children, 0 to 6 years, adolescent girls, pregnant women and lactating mothers, our Prime Minister launched a portion of Biyan in 2017-18. More than 6 lakhs Anganwadi workers are equipped with smartphones to upload the nutritional status of more than 10 crore households. Sir, Honorable Speaker, sir, for the benefit of those who may not have heard this line, because it's very important, I'd like to repeat it. To improve the national nutritional status of children, children in zero to six years of age, adolescent girls, pregnant women, and lactating mothers, our Prime Minister launched a portion of Biyan in 2017-18. More than 6 lakh Anganwadi workers are equipped with smartphones to upload the nutritional status of more than 10 crore households. The scale of this development is unprecedented. So the next is, women's age of marriage was increased from 15 years to 18 years in 1978 by amending erstwhile Sharda Act of 1929. As India progresses further, opportunities open up for women to pursue higher education and careers. There are imperatives of lowering MMR, maternal mortality rate, as well as improvement of nutrition levels. Entire issue of about age of girl entering motherhood needs also to be seen in this light. I propose to appoint a task force that will present its recommendations in six months' time. I propose to provide 35,600 crores for nutrition-related programs for the financial year 2020-2021. So in continuing with our government's commitment to welfare of women, this budget provides for about 28,600 crore for programs that are specific to women. Our government is determined that there shall be no manual cleaning of sewer system or septic tanks. 
suitable technologies for such tasks have been identified by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. The Ministry is working with urban local bodies for the ado adoption of these technologies. We will now take this to its logical conclusion. We will now take it एक मिनट बंद तो मैं सभी मान्य सदस्यों से आग्रह करूंगा आप वो बजट पर पर्याप्त समय और पर्याप्त अवसर दूंगा उस समय आप बोलना और दादा विशेष रूप से आपको बोलने की परमिशन दूंगा थैंक यू सर नो थैंक यू स्पीकर सर वी विल नाउ टेक दिस वी विल नाउ टेक दिस to its logical conclusion through legislative and institutional changes financial support for wider acceptance of such technologies will be provided in furthering this government's commitment towards the welfare of scheduled caste and other backward classes i propose a budget provision of about 85000 crores for 2020 2021 for scheduled caste and other backward classes i repeat i propose a budget provision of about 85000 crores for 2020 2021 in furthering the development and welfare of scheduled tribes sir i provo i provide in the budget for the year 2020 2021 an amount of 53700 crores for scheduled tribes i repeat we provide 53700 crores this government is mindful of the concerns of senior citizens and divyang accordingly an enhanced allocation of about 9500 crores is being provided for 2020 2021 So now I move to the second of the third topic theme that I have, which is culture and tourism. Our government proposes to establish an Indian Institute of Heritage and Conservation under Ministry of Culture. It shall have the status of a deemed university to start with. Acquisition of knowledge in disciplines such as museology and archaeology. are essential for collecting and analyzing scientific evidence of such findings and for dissemination through high quality museums currently lack of trained manpower is a handicap for both these disciplines and therefore it also has a negative impact on tourism five archaeological sites five archaeological sites would be developed as iconic sites with on site music they are rakhi ghadi haryana hastinapur uttar uttar pradesh shiv sagar in assam dola vira gujarat adichanallur tamil nadu i repeat five archaeological sites would be developed as iconic sites with on site museums they are rakhi gadi haryana hastinapur uttar pradesh shiv sagar assam dola vira gujarat and adichanallur in tamil nadu our prime minister in january 2020 announced recuration of the indian museum in kolkata which is the oldest in the country in the historic old mint building kolkata <coughs> a museum on numismatics and trade will also be located four more museums from across the country shall be taken up for renovation and recuration so that a world class experience can be offered to our visitors our government shall also support setting up of a tribal museum in ranchi jharkhand So I spoke about the Sindhu Saraswati civilization. A maritime museum would be set up at Lothal, the Harappan age maritime site near Ahmedabad, by the Ministry of Shipping. I propose to provide 3,150 crore 
for Ministry of Culture for the year 2021. Sir, India has moved up from the rank 65 in 2014 to 34 in 2019 in the Travel and Tourism Competitive Index, the World Economic Forum's index. Foreign exchange earnings grew 7.4% to 1.88 lakh crores for the period January to November 2019 from 1.75 lakh crores. From 1.75 lakh crores, it has gone up to 1.88 lakh crores. Growth of tourism directly relates to growth and employment. States have a critical role to play. I expect the state governments to develop a roadmap for certain identified destinations and formulate financial plans during 2021 against which specified grants will be made available to the states from the centre in the year 2020-21. For purpose of tourism promotion, sir, I propose to allocate 2,500 crores for 2020-2021. So I now move to the third under this theme, environment and climate change. In September 2019, the Prime Minister has launched the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure with its Secretariat in Delhi. This global partnership is the second such initiative, international initiative, after the launch of, as members would recall, after the launch of International Solar Alliance. That was in 2015. This global partnership will help in addressing a number of sustainable development goals, as also the aims of Sendai framework. It will enhance climate change adaptation with a focus on disaster resilient infrastructure. India submitted its nationally determined contribution under the Paris Agreement in 2015 on a best effort basis, keeping in mind the development imperative of our country. Its implementation effectively begins from 1st January 2021. Our commitments as action will be executed in various sectors. Honorable Speaker, sir, I interrupt here only to say this is a very important point because a lot of our commitments which have been given in the Paris Climate Change Conference on best effort basis will start kicking in from 1st January 2021. Our commitments as action will be executed in various sectors by the departments and ministries concerned through a normal budget process. They will do it through the normal budgeting process. There are, however, yet thermal power plants that are old and their carbon emission levels are very high. For such power plants, we propose that utilities running them would be advised to close them if their emission is above the preset norms. The land so vacated can be put to alternative uses. In large cities having population above 1 million, clean air is a matter of concern. I'm sure a lot of our members will be keen to know about what steps are being taken for cities and clean air. The government proposes, Honorable Speaker, to encourage such states that are formulating and implementing plans for ensuring cleaner air in cities above 1 million. Parameters for the incentives would be notified by the Ministry of Environment, Forests and Climate Change. Allocation for this purpose is 4,400 crores for 2020-2021. So there is something which, before I move to talking about governance, because the three themes that I put before the members is coming to a close, I fall back on the wise words of and this, it's very important, sir. We have heard several words of wisdom from Thiruvalluvar. Thiruvalluvar has spoken about what a good country is. What a good country is actually got to be like. And what makes up for jewels of a good country. 
I first read it in Tamil, then I'll give you the meaning. Pini in my selvam vilai inbam emam. Pini in my selvam vilai inbam emam. Ani enba natin vaindu. Ani enba natin vaindu. There are five what Thiruvallur says, which are jewels for a good country. The first is pini in mind, meaning you, the country will have to be without epidemics or illnesses, major illnesses. The second, he says, it should be wealthy. It should have wealth. It should have wealth. It should also have belachal, in the sense from the fields it should have good crop. It should have inbam. It should have happiness. It also should have amam, which is security and safety of the country. <laughs> Sir, the five jewels, five jewels, pini in my, selvam, vilaibinbam, amam, and inbam. Prime Minister Modi, Prime Minister Modi, Ayushman Bharat, Ayushman Bharat for health for all is penny in mind. Selvam, wealth creators will be respected in this country. Wealth creators will be respected in this country. Selvam, Vilaisal, having good crops. Farmer PM Kisan, doubling of income, use of fertilizers and proper growth leads to surplus in horticulture, surplus in silhan, surplus now probably also in dalhan. So the Prime Minister's program at health, at creating and giving respect for wealth creators and improving agricultural output and looking at ease of living, bringing happiness to people and above all, and above all, the fifth Amam. This country's national security. You have enough proof to say national security is the top priority of this government. <laughs> so, if 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 Thiruvalluvar if Thiruvalluvar that's right, sir. If Thiruvalluvar identified the five jewels for a good country, those five jewels are the ones which Prime Minister Modi is now addressing through his program. For health 